Learning a new track can be a daunting experience, especially since you don't want to waste valuable practice time figuring out which way the turns go. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to get yourself up to speed before you even head out to the track. The first thing when I'm learning a new racetrack or helping a new uh, student is to tell them, you've seen all these corners before on whatever tracks you've been to in the past. So don't psych yourself out that you've never been to Spa or you've never been to Daytona. Just know that you have to do the same thing that everybody else has to do, which is process new corners. For me, it's a lot of prepared, preparedness again, you know, walking the track, knowing things like is there brake markers? If there is brake markers, are they up high? Are we at a street course? Are they high? Are they down on the ground? Are they cones? Are they signs? They, can they move? You know, and thinking about all those things. Um, but the first thing I do is I like to go out and find my brake zones. You know, I like to get out there, push the brake zones, over slow or under slow, whatever you want to call it, and then and get to them quickly. Find a very, very close brake marker very quickly. And then just roll through the corners, you know, roll apex speed as much as you can. Um, and the last thing, work on power down, you know. So um, for me, it's all, I work in the beginning of the corner to the end. For me, learning a new track is about going out and doing the old traditional walk around the track. See the nuances, get down low, look where the cambers are, look at curbs that you can utilize and curbs that you can't because oftentimes you just go out there at speed and it looks a lot different than if you're out there and you can really study it on foot or on a bicycle. Um, other than that, video game simulation is great to learn tracks. I'm not one that's a big uh, supporter of sitting all week on the video games and, and racing. Um, you know, if I needed to learn a new track, I'll spend 20, 30, 40 minutes on a, on a video game simulation, but I won't sit there all week. I mean, I like to start out, if at all possible, I go on iRacing and look it up on there and, and learn the track because, you know, that layout, knowing when you're going to turn left and right is critical and there's nothing more accurate than, than the iRacing software. So, yeah, that's the big one for me. If you don't know the, the track, if it's not on on any software anywhere, you know, it's, it's best just to, to walk it first, look at it, go back to your hotel that night, the next morning you go out in the race car and the first lap, take it easy and then build it up. And it's all about the sight picture and where you gotta be looking. So you, you're looking for your references for braking, for your turning, and just know you start off hitting those marks and you can tweak it as, as you run up. When I went to Le Mans for the first time, I spent hours, I actually flew out to, to Texas, and I spent hours on a simulator, just simulating around, driving a GT car at Le Mans. And, and when I went there, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how realistic this stuff is. And you look at simulators nowadays, because I use, I use them effectively, I've used one out at, out at Sears Point Raceway, and it just magnifies that opportunity for more miles in, in cars, more miles at, at affordable situations, even if you were to get off track, if you get off track in a simulator, no big deal. You get off track in a real race car, now there's potential for bodily harm as well as you know tearing up a race car, which is the last thing you want to do. I learned the Paul Ricard circuit uh, with a MotoGP game, you know? So I played a MotoGP game that it drove the same track. It was a motorcycle game, but who cares? I at least knew at Paul Ricard that turn one was gonna go to the right and turn two was gonna go left or whatever it is, right? And so even right now, I'm trying to learn Le Mans for, uh, you know, for the pre-qualifying. You know, I'm trying to learn Le Mans right now as we speak. So I think it's a big thing. I just, I want to know which way the corners go. Simulators nowadays, video games nowadays are so good that you can learn. You can learn stuff. But nothing beats the seat of the pants being in the car, you know. You know, safe is fast. Obviously, um, uh, you want to be safe and not make mistakes. And in this type of racing, especially when we were coming into a 24-hour race, we have to be careful and uh, not have anything go wrong or we won't finish. So um, safe to a certain extent, but you do still have to push the limits.